Today is going to be a very good day guys. We are going for our very first track day in the Honda Civic EK4 VTIR and I'm honestly super excited. And so today guys we're going to be heading out with my good mates Tom and Gordon and I'm currently at his place right now and he has the coolest man cave that I've seen in recent time. Check this thing out. And of course his iconic Z4M, his Porsche. Oh, this is such a cinematic setup. Just before we head off to Haunted Hills, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few upgrades and changes we've made to the car in the time that we've got this car ready for track. So we've done a full major service, which includes timing belt, water pump, spark plugs, you name it, the car has got it and it really drives so much better. So a huge shout out to the guys over at Seeker Motorsport for helping me out with doing that. We've also done a full headlight restoration on both of these front headlights and as you guys can see it has completely transformed the look of this thing and it really looks a treat in my opinion guys we've got a bunch more things to come in future videos but today we're going to be setting a baseline time for the ek4 in essentially its stock form and it's going to be an awesome one guys so come along with me it's going to be sick let's go Alright guys, we've just reached Haunted Hills, it's a beautiful day out here. It was actually scheduled to rain, however the weather's actually looking up, though it is extremely windy so I do apologise in advance if there's any wind noise, it is pretty intense out here. But I honestly can't wait to drive, we've got the EK4 just parked up over there. We came pretty decked out today, we've got an esky for our cold drinks, my helmet, camera gear, all that good stuff but we're essentially gonna go gut the whole car all of its stuff so it's as light as possible you know these EKs they weigh nothing it's all about power to weight ratio let me take you for a quick look at the motor it is the EK4 VTIR so we've got the standard V16 A2 engine as you can see 270,000 Ks and still going strong we had a full major service done everything's all refreshed and ready to go and I can't wait to see how it goes out here we're now in the EK4 and we're gonna go for our first test lap in the car I've never driven around this track with this car so it's gonna be pretty different especially because I drove a Z4M previously before so a completely different platform but it's going to be exciting to see how it fares. I've also downloaded the app Race Chrono so this is going to help keep time management for the car so we can set a baseline time of what the EK4 can do. At Haunted Hills we're going to be doing a figure eight circuit so literally a figure eight and so there's only going to be two cars the lead car and the car that's following it's going to be kind of like a toge style and it gives us a lot of room for actually enjoying the car and learning the track. Because there's no traffic, we can go as fast as we want or as slow as we want. It really just depends on your skill level. So I think it's an awesome track to start learning how to drive. Let's go guys. Car feels nice and tight. are a little bit spongy big upgrade coming for that very soon so stay tuned on the channel guys car changes direction nice and tight been on this track one time just before I kind of remember it it's a nice easy track to learn and when you get the hang of it it's just a lovely technical twisty course Hard on the brakes, tight left. Oh, this car feels so progressive. Wow, it's so smooth. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Heeling and towing is such a breeze in this thing. I love it. Oh, the P tech sounds so good. It's so easy to drive fast. 
117. Let's see if we can dial that up in the few more sessions to come. It's gonna be an awesome day out, guys. All right, Tom. What do we have here? What's in this thing? Lunch. I don't actually know. We're ordering Ooh. sandwiches. Yum. Oh, is this my frozen Coke? Yeah, man. Man, that's the best one. <laughs> All right. If you guys know, I love my frozen Cokes, and I had to get one, and it's still nice and chilly. That's what we like, guys. Where's my straw, though? Is it there? Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, sick. So, that was a quick little test run with the EK4. Obviously, I wasn't going hard at all. Gonna be cool to see how it fares by the end of the day. And hopefully, we can crack a what? What's an ideal time that we want to hit? Maybe like a 110? Somewhere in there, yeah. That'd be nice and easy, right? Oh, well, surely. So, in the Z4M that I drove the last time out here at Haunted Hills, I think I did a 58, 59, or one minute, something like that. So that was a really quick car and Gordon set it up very, very well. So the EK4 is as basic as it gets. All it has is some semi-slick tires and stock motor. You know, if it gets anywhere close to that, I'll be wrapped. Apologize again for the wind. It is actually a hurricane out here. <laughs> We're gonna go have some food and I'm gonna down this frozen coat, guys. All right, so after the first session, it was a little bit lofty at the front end it just didn't want to turn in as much so i'm going to try and drop the tire pressures in the front let's see how it is so this is the front left corner here i don't know if you guys can see pretty well but we'll make do with what we got so currently we've got it at 35 so we're just going to drop that to about 32 and i'm also going to adjust the coilover suspension i feel like i could dial up just a few clicks okay we'll have a look now at the bc's here don't know how many clicks there are, so let's just have a quick look. Eight, nine, eight. So I'm guessing there's about 20 clicks. We've got up eight. So now it's on full 10. All right, so with the changes that I've made, a quick summary, I've dropped the tire pressures from 35 at the front to 32. I've also updated the BCBR coilovers to full stiff now. So 20 clicks on left and right, which is an increase of eight on the left and 10 on the right from its previous setting. So let's see how this fares. <laughs> Here we go guys, we're going to be following this Accord Euro that's in front, just getting a feel for it with the new settings, oh it feels instantly more dialed in, wow, feels good, oh my god it's so much better, just warming things up a little bit. And now the car actually wants to turn in.
point two, and that was arguably a lot sloppier than my second lap out on the third session. Wow, she is really coming to its own. I'm honestly so surprised at how this car is going. It just wants more and more when you push it. There's a level of confidence that actually just inspires you to go harder. Admittedly, there is a lot that we can do to actually make it a little bit tighter of a car, especially along the weight transfer corners, because Porter Hills are, has a whole lot of camber corners and you're just diving left, right, left, right. Yeah, she feels really good, guys. All right, we're gonna have some lunch real quick and we're hopping in a championship white FN2. What a beast. <laughs> That looks good, man. Thank you. How is it? Drives pretty well with yeah. the LSD. Just put you out the corner. Yeah, I can imagine. I really need an LSD out here, and I also need what's in the engine bay. A case what? I need that. <laughs> I need that K series engine in the uh, EK4. It's it's just not engaging VTEC enough, you know. Really? When do you hit VTEC in this car? Always. Always? Yeah. See, that's the problem. We were like out of VTEC for half the course, so... This thing is really loud! Jesus, that sounds good! What have you done to it? Cat bag. Just cat bag. What cat is it? My thing is a Miltech. Miltech? Yeah. That's a, a European brand. Yeah, European. So no Jay's Racing, no Spoon, no, no Toda? No. It doesn't sound like a normal K-Series. Yeah, I love the sound. Yeah, it sounds really good. It sounds like a B-series. Yeah, when it crossover. Yeah, wow. It's so obvious. It's such a different note to even yeah. the K20Z in my EG or the DC5 with the K20A. I think the FN2 in Championship White looks pretty sick. You know, you've got that Mugen wing at the back which makes it look so much more aggressive, but I like the overall stance of it. Jack's fried chicken burger. I'll show you guys this thing. Honestly, it is better than a big spicy in so many ways. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you with one hand, but get this thing open. Check it out. It is so crispy and juicy. Definitely better than a big spicy, in my opinion, at least. Anyway, you see, we've got the EK4 parked up, looking nice and pretty, covered in dirt. There goes my chips. Got also sandwich from the food dairy shout out to Tom talking it up <laughs> frozen coke actually wait that's not a frozen coke coke no sugar I'll give you a quick review that was good I really read it guys alright I'm gonna go enjoy this thing see you soon All right guys, we're gonna do the fourth session. It is 11.30 a.m. and it's actually reported that it's gonna be pretty much thunderstorming at about 12. So we've got literally no time at all to get one last session in. And I need to get it done, guys. So these next three laps that I'm gonna be doing in the car, I'm gonna be really focused on trying to get a hot lap together so that you guys can check it out and see how capable the EK4 is essentially in stock form with BCBR coilover, Nankang NS2R semi-slicks, just a generic stainless steel intake, you've also got an exhaust and apart from that that's it it's pretty much just your basic bolt-on Honda Civic EK4 with the B16A2. I don't think we're going to be able to top it today, boys, but... Whew, she's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> it's a shame that the rain just started to kick in. We're just going to have a nice chill lap here for the last session. Woo! I can't believe that lap topped it! 1095! 
That was the sloppiest three corners I had ever done today and it's actually raining now and I was still able to top that. I'm actually shocked. When the car is at its limits, it just wants you to go harder and when you go harder, wow, it just gives you more and more traction. It's honestly so surprising to see how this car is right now. Ah, oh, I didn't have my GoPro on. No, oh, no. Oh, it's off. Oh man. That was a 109.5 and it started raining. Take a look at that. <laughs> Alright, so we're pretty much going to wrap it up here for sessions at Haunted Hills. It got way too wet and the car got a little bit sideways too easily. You know, on semi slicks, there's not much traction when it's in the rain. So there's a whole lot of dirt, grass just thrown up onto the entire car. But you know, it adds character. I like the way it looks. It looks like a rally car in some aspects or a track warrior. That's the style of this build. It's a Kanjizoku Racer EK4. And I've really grown so fond of it and experiencing it out here on track, it's a totally different experience when driving it on the street. You know, if you guys are looking to experience driving your car on track, come out to a track day, whether it's Haunted Hills, Winton, there's so many all over and there's a bunch that you can choose from. It really just allows you, as I was saying, it's a really good way to find a new sort of appreciation for your car. And whether or not it's a street car or a track car, just taking it out of the track is just a whole lot of fun. So I definitely recommend it if you guys haven't done so already. You can just enjoy your car a little bit more than driving it out on the street as well as not breaking the speed limit and you'll be able to keep your license, which is so much better. The EK4 did a really good time out here today. I think for the very first time driving it out here on track, we were able to get a 109.5 and a baseline time for the EK4. There's still a lot of things that we want to work on. I've got a big brake kit planned for the car, which we're going to be putting on very soon for our next track day. And that's really going to transform how this car handles out here because the brakes definitely took a bit of a beating on street pads, street rotors, street brake fluid as well. So there's going to be a huge time improvement once we get all those things fitted and sorted out. I also want to put in a racing seat because I'm getting thrown around in the cabin of this car, literally just like a rag doll. But overall, the car did really, really good. It's so confidence inspiring driving it out here and I've really enjoyed it. So if you guys did too, please make sure you smash that thumbs up button. In the comments below, tell me what you think about the EK4 and other mods that I should do to improve the track time as well as the overall driving experience. And as well as that, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Bye for now.